Hi, I'm Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to focus on the core. You're going to need two yoga blocks for practice, and let's get going. Starting off down on your back, you're going to take one of the blocks, place them off to the side, and then the other block, you're going to take it on the lowest height underneath your pelvis, coming into a supported bridge. Shut down the eyes. Tongue just resting on the roof of the mouth. As you begin to find the breath moving in and out of your nose. Allowing yourself some time here to just drop in. Relaxing the space between your eyebrows. Take a nice big breath in. Empty out. Straighten your left leg, press your left heel down into the floor and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Hands are either gonna come behind the hamstring or below the knee. And to press the heel down, think about your front ribs drawing in. And do some circles to your right hip. Pressing your heel to the floor and take your right knee up to the right side. Hug your knee back into the chest. And switch sides. Send your right leg forwards, right heel pressing down, left knee into the chest. Bring some circles to your left hip. Take your knee up to the left side. Draw your knee back into the chest. And switch, right knee in, but this time your left leg's gonna go forwards and hover your heel above the ground. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, switch. Right leg forwards, left knee in. Now you're gonna continue going side to side, and you can use the hands like you are now, or you're gonna bring the hands down to the floor, framing the block. Try to relax around your shoulders. You're taking your breath, and then on the exhale, you're switching legs. Breathe in. Exhale to switch. Try not to tense around the jaw. Stay at a nice slow pace. One more each side. Bend your knees, set your feet down to the floor. Hmm. You're gonna lift yourself off the block, lower down. Place the block between your thighs. Take your hands to the pelvis. And I want you to come into an anterior tilted pelvis. So the frontal hip bones are gonna roll forwards. You're gonna feel the tailbone on the ground. Back of the pelvis is gonna lift off the floor. And then bring yourself back into a neutral position. So you're gonna feel the back of the pelvis come back to the ground. Now posterior, so you're gonna tuck your pelvis under, your frontal hip bones are gonna draw in towards your lower ribs, and then come back into neutral. Anterior, frontal hip bones are gonna roll forwards, tail on the ground, back of the pelvis lifts off the floor, and then come into neutral. Posterior, tuck it under. So I want you to keep the posterior tilt, hands on the floor, framing your hips, hugging into the block, lift your hips up. So as you drive your feet in the floor, I want you to really engage your glutes and your hamstrings, making sure you're not pushing your ribs up to the ceiling. Front ribs in and down. Keep the slight tuck of the pelvis. And then as you hinge from the hips, you're gonna lower down, tap the glutes to the floor, take a breath in. As you exhale, tuck the pelvis under, lift your hips up. Lower down. Lift your hips up. Lower down. Lift the hips up. 
I'm gonna pause at the top. You can stay right here, or we're gonna walk our shoulder blades underneath you. If it's available, interlace your hands and ground the arms. But again, make sure you're not compensating and the ribs pushing up to the ceiling. If you have the hands interlaced, release the hands, slowly roll down to the spine. You're gonna take the block that's between the thighs, place it on the lowest height behind the back of your head. Bring your knees over top of the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. So I want you to find the neutral position of the pelvis. We all have a natural curvature of the spine and make sure your core is engaged in a way to support the natural curvature of the spine. So before we add any movement to the legs, I want you to find the work with the breath. So as you inhale, think about expanding through the sides of the ribs as well as through the back. And on the exhale, I want you to envision like you're trying to draw your frontal hip bones towards one another. So try not to grit and push down and also make sure you're not sucking your belly in. The belly button will come towards the spine, but think about lifting it up as well. Inhale, expand through the ribs without the seesaw breath. Exhale, like you're wearing a corset. Everything's working in unison as you wrap into the midline. This might be enough right here, just working on this. Otherwise, we're going to start to add some movement to the legs. Like you did on the block, on your next inhale, you're going to straighten your left leg, hover your left heel. And then on the exhale, pull your leg back in. Inhale, right leg goes forwards. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, left leg forwards. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, draw it in. One more each side, left leg forwards. Make sure the connection of the back of the rib cage is still on the floor. And then pull it in. Right leg going forwards. And then draw it in. Take your second block that you have and place it between your thighs. So knees over top of pelvis, shins parallel to the ceiling. If it was a lot with the one leg, then continue to work on that. Otherwise, if you feel ready, you're gonna do both legs at the same time. So take a breath in, and then exhale, wrap everything into the midline. Now it's a movement. On your next inhale, you're gonna hinge from the hips. Lower the heels down, maybe a little bit halfway, or your heels are gonna come all the way to the ground and use your exhale to bring your knees over top of the pelvis. Inhale, lower the heels. Watch the rib flare. Exhale, pull it back up. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, bring it in. Supported reclined Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees open. Take your blocks, place them on the lowest height underneath the thighs. Now you're gonna relax around your hip flexors. Take your arms up and over the head. Relax your arms down to the floor. Think about nice expansive inhales to allow movement through the diaphragm. Soft exhales, we're not forcing the breath here. Bring your knees in the center. So you're going to take one block, place it behind the back of the head, and the other block, you're going to bring your knees over top of the pelvis, shins parallel to the ceiling. Bring the shortest end of the block to the upper right thigh. Then you're going to take your right elbow to the block. Both forearms and both shins are parallel to the ceiling. Your right side is going to stay fixed, so try not to move your right side at all. On your inhale, you're gonna straighten your left leg, hover the heel, reach your left arm back. Use your exhale to pull it back in. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. Ooh, I got the shakes going on <laughs> in a good way. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Open up, you're gonna hold there and then draw it in. Leave the block where it is, but now take your left hand behind the back of your head, and as you lift your chest up, you're gonna bring your left elbow to the block now. So it's your right leg and left elbow holding the block in place. Right hand behind the back of the head as well. 
Lift your chest up and try to get both shoulder blades off the floor. Then straighten your left leg, hover the heel. Pull it back in the center. Left leg going forwards. Bring it in. Two more. Open it up. Draw it in. Last one. Open hold. And then pull it in. Block between your thighs. The block that's behind the head, just place it off to the side for a moment. Setting your feet down on the floor. The glute bridge lifts. Press your feet in the floor. Take a breath in. And exhale, hug into the block, lift your hips up. We're going to do smaller now, so you're going to lower the hips just a little bit, and then lift the hips up. Lower the hips just a bit. Take your hips up. One more, lower down. Lift your hips up. We're going to roll down to the spine. Your glutes will land last for five, four, three, two, one. And then take your block, place it behind the back of the head again. Knees over top of the hips. And place the block to the left thigh. The left elbow and left thigh holding the block in place. Start with both forms and both shins parallel to the ceiling. The right leg's going to go forwards, right arm back. Make sure your left side's not shifting at all. And then pull it back in the center. Open it up. Bring it in. In. Pull it in. One more time, you're going to open and hold. And then draw it in. I'm going to switch. Right hand behind the back of the head, chest lifts. Bring your right elbow to the block. Once you have that set, both hands behind the back of the head. Right leg's going to go forwards. And then bring it in. Right leg goes forwards. And then pull it in. Last two. Right leg forwards. Bring it in. One more. Take it forwards and hold. And then bring it in. Whew. Blocks to the side. Happy baby. Send the soles of the feet to the ceiling. Grab hold of the outer edges of the feet. Take your knees out wide and rock it side to side. Let go of the feet, hands below the knees. Lift your chest towards your thighs and then rock up and down the spine. If that's uncomfortable, then just roll to either side. However, it's easiest for you to come up. Swing your legs around and make your way onto your hands and easy table. Once you're in your table, top position, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees hip distance apart, and we're going to run through some cat cows, so chest through, so let's one up. And then flex to the spine, push away from the floor. Keep going to your cat cows on your own. One more time. And bring yourself to center. One block's gonna be in the lowest height underneath your right hand, and the other block is gonna be in the lowest height underneath your left knee. Tuck your left toes under to start. Send your right leg back and start with your foot on the floor. Before we do anything, I want you to envision all of the work that you just did on your back. So don't let your chest sink to the ground. I want you to constantly think about pushing away from the floor. Then as you do that, you're gonna reach your left arm forwards. Turn the palm of the hand to face in, rib cage away from the ground, and lift your right leg up. So as the leg goes up, make sure you're not sinking to the low back. You have the choice here to keep your left toes on the ground or take your foot off. Pull the hand and foot away from one another. Draw your knee and your elbow in towards the midline. Open it up, left leg, left arm forwards, right leg back. Bring your elbow and knee, keep pushing away from the floor. Left arm forwards, right leg back. And bring it in. One more time, you're going to open and hold. Set your left hand down, followed by the right knee. Take your left leg straight back. Create a kickstand, turn your right toes to the right side, drop your back heel to the center of the mat so your hips are rotating to the left. You have the block underneath your right hand now, left arm up towards the ceiling. And then from here, I want you to pick the right 
or take the block up with the right hand and then place the block between your hands. So your hands are holding the shortest on the block. Reach the block up, front ribs in, lean as far to the left as you can. And then bring yourself to center. Keep grounding through your left foot and you're lean to the right, reach the block forwards. Bring it to center. Lean over to the left. Center. And then lean to the right, reach. Center. Lean over to the left. Center. And then lean to the right, continue to reach and hold there. So instead of sending your butt back towards the heel, I want you to bring your hips more towards the side wall. And set the block down, hip to face the front, and we will set up the other side. Block is on the lowest height underneath your left hand. Block on the lowest height underneath your right knee. Take your left leg straight back, right hand on the floor, and find it first, push away from the ground. Left leg lifts, use your right toes or not, and then right arm's gonna reach forwards. Take your breath in. On the exhale, elbow and knee come in nice and slow. Open it up. Don't let the chest sink. Draw the elbow and knee in. Open up. Bring it in. And open, pause there. Left knee lowers down to the floor. Take your right leg straight back. Left toes are gonna turn to the left side. Hips rotate to the right. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Take the block up with the left hand. Block comes between the hands. Front on the right foot, reach a block up. Lean to the right, reach it back. Bring yourself to center. And then lean over to the left. Bring it to center, reach up. Lean to the right. And then center. Lean to the left. Bring it to center, lift up, lean to the right, center, lean to the left, hold, and then come out of that. Place one of your blocks to the side, and the other block you're going to place between your thighs. So make sure your block is flush to your thighs so you don't have an end sticking out. If you need some padding, you can roll your mat over a bit to give your knees some padding when you do this. I'm gonna come up to stand on the knees. Arms gonna reach out in front of you, palm of the hands face in. So you're gonna engage to your glutes, keep hugging into the block just like you did in the bridge. Drive your knees down on the floor and then you're gonna hinge back, bring your butt towards the heels without breaking at the hips. And then pull yourself back up. And then hinge back, bring your butt towards the heels, squeeze into the block, bring it up. One more time, you're going to hinge back and then bring it to center. Block stays where it is. You're in a tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes under, neutral position with the pelvis. Take a breath in, expand to the sides. And then as you exhale, lift your knees just an inch off the floor. Lower the knees down, take a breath in. Exhale, wrap everything in the midline. Take your knees just an inch off the ground. One more time, knees down. And exhale, pick your knees up. And hover here and hold. Even though you're holding the shape, don't hold your breath. Pelvis is staying in neutral. Set your knees down to the floor, take a block off to the side, untuck the toes, shift your hips back for child's pose. And take your hips side to side. Next time your hips go to the left, walk your hands to the right. Walk your hands to the left and take your hips to the right. Take your hands up in front of you, ground the hands and roll forward to be in a leaning tabletop position so your knees are behind the pelvis. Engage to your glutes. Bring your pelvis forwards, and as you do that, you're gonna roll your shoulders back, bring your chest through the gate of the shoulders, toss the feet press on the floor, 
And then you're gonna lift your hips up, press away from the ground, flex of the spine as you shift your hips back into a child's pose. And do that again, roll it forwards. And as your pelvis comes forwards, engage the lift glutes, chest comes through, you can take the gaze up. And then lift your hips up, tops of the press on the floor, send your hips back, child's pose. One more time, roll it forwards. Chest comes through, and upper dog with your knees on the ground, and then lower yourself to the floor. Take your feet about mat distance apart, top seat press on the floor, reach your arms back. Palm of the hands are gonna be on the ground. Begin to lift your arms up as high as you can. Keep pressing the feet down, lift your head and lift the chest up. Lower down. You can do that again. Lift the arms up, lift the head, lift the chest. Lower down. One more time, lift the arms, lift the head, chest. Reach your arms back. Lower down, hands beside the lower rib cage. Child's pose, and going back towards the heels. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Walk your legs down and downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Right leg's gonna go up towards the ceiling. Bend the top knee, rotate your hips to the right. As your heel comes towards the glute, keep sending your knee up and bring your front ribs in. Square off the hips, three-legged dog. Knee draws into your chest, shoulders come over top of the wrist and step down between the hands. Your back knee is gonna lower down to the floor. Keep your left toes tucked under, low lunge, reach arms forwards and up. As your arms come up, think about the work that you did with the block. Palm of the hands face in, so envision that block is there. Front ribs in and down. You're gonna lift your left knee just a little bit off the floor. Drive your right foot into the ground. And as you lean your torso forwards, runner's lunge, sweep your arms back, left heel right above the toes. Bend your left knee, hover the knee, reach your arms forwards and up. Runner's lunge, lean your torso forward, sweep your arms back. One more time, bend the left knee, arms reach up. Runner's lunge. Lean forwards, you're gonna lift your left leg up for warrior three. Now you can leave your arms where they are, you can bring your hands together in prayer, or you're gonna reach your arms forwards. Step back, your feet are gonna be on separate tracks, high lunge, both arms reach up towards the ceiling. Bend your back knee as much as you need. Ground your back heel, warrior two. Arms up to the side. Rooting down through your right foot, making sure your knee is not collapsing in. Reverse your warrior, right arm's gonna reach back. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg, shift your pelvis back with chicken ass in a triangle. Right hand's gonna hover above the shin. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Little tiny pulses here, lift up an inch, and then lower down an inch. Keep going with the pulses. I want you to envision like you're trying to draw your heels towards one another here. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm reaches back. Windmill your hands down to the ground, hands from your right foot, you're on the ball of the left foot. Step back into plank. You can either come to downward dog here or a chaturanga, baby cobra or up dog. Downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the top knee, heel to glute, and rotate your hips to the left. Squaring off the hips, three-legged dog. Bring your knee into the chest, shoulders come over top of the wrist, and step down between the hands. Bend your back knee, bring your knee to the floor. Low lunge, arms go forwards and up. So try not to dive into this lunge. Front ribs in. Palm of the hands face one another. Lift your right knee just a little bit off the ground. Drive the left foot into the floor. 
Runner's lunge, lean your chest forward, straighten the back leg, sweep your arms back. Bend your back knee, hover, arms go forwards and up. Runner's lunge. One more time. Into runner's lunge. Warrior two, ground the back heel, windmill your arms up to the side. Lower the pelvis down, rear cage stays over top of the pelvis. Reverse your warrior, left arm back. Into warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Shifting the pelvis back and reaching your left arm forwards without pushing your ribs forwards. Left hand hovers above the shin, right arm up to the ceiling. Little tiny pulses. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Windmill your hands down to the ground, step back, downward dog or vinyasa. Lower down onto your knees. Take a child's pose. Close down your eyes and instead of reaching for your phone or looking for ways to distract yourself in the moment, just be where you are. Notice how your body's feeling. Slowly roll up as we're sitting on the heels. Keeping the eyes closed. Just rest one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Together, take a nice big breath in. Empty out. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Hope to see you again real soon. Be humble, be kind, namaste.